Good morning antique fans and welcome to my channel for another antique related video. This is Deanna from Vintage Touch Antiques and I wanted to share with you the items that we'll be putting I'll be putting into my antique booth this week. This would be uh, September the 8th, 2015, this week at Antique Crossroads, Hagerstown, Maryland. You'll find the antique Vintage Touch Antique booth on the third uh, row on the left side of the mall. And so just look for the big Vintage Touch sign that hangs over my double space. It's uh, getting close to fall now and so I will be putting in my Halloween pieces that I have and so I want to share with you those pieces that will be going in. The first thing is a cute little cast iron three inch cauldron. This one will come with a little, um, just a little uh, decorative skeleton sitting in it and that will be going in for nine dollars for the set. I've got three paper mache jack-o'-lanterns here in different sizes. The one in the front here is uh, called by most uh, the evil jack-o'-lantern and he has an evil looking face but he's really not evil. He's just he's just trying to be spooky. And this piece is uh, six inches high and um, the insert is not original. The insert is hand drawn but it is drawn on some old paper. You can see some of the speckled um, uh, not like the modeling or the uh, foxing that you see on paper there. You can see the inside that it is an old piece. And this piece is going in for $119. This jack-o'-lantern in the back here is like a five inch one. Now it does have its original insert as you can see and the inside you can see the how old it is. It is a more fluorescent, um, less glossy finish there. Um, the insert has been stabilized with other paper because it was so fragile and this piece will be going in for forty dollars. The large one in the back here stands about seven inches tall. He's about eight and a half inches wide. Again it's a hand-drawn insert that's been added. I think they look much better with an insert than without. They can easily be removed if you would like to have them removed. But I put them in there because a lot of people like an insert and so many times they're missing. So I always let you know that they are added. Of course it's you can see that whenever you get close to them. But from a distance they look really good with their inserts. Also going in is this little tin uh, toy cup and saucer. This piece as you can see has that rippled look. It's a little bit more unusual than some of the ten little pieces that I've sold and this is going in for nine dollars. I'll be putting in a couple of old wooden spoons. They're a popular little accessory that that um, people buy to, to use and to display with and they're three dollars each. This week I'll be putting in some linens. I've got an oval. This is an oval crochet doily in an ecru. Uh, it'll be going in for $5. I've got a couple of smaller doilies here that are about $2 each. Um, here's a little voile three-piece vanity set that has like the little a little um, floral print on it and that set will be going in for $5. And then here is a nice piece that's a tapestry piece and it measures 44 by 63. It's got some beautiful collars in it and that'll be going in for $13. Also hanging over here on my cabinet I've got a couple of old hangers. I'll move it over here so you can see better. This this is an old wood hanger that has an arch design. It's a it's a thicker style of a hanger and I've got two of those and they're going in the shop for four dollars each. And if you've got an old garment to display or one that you want to use even as a uh, work of art as some people do because some of these beautiful pieces are indeed works of art, it's really best to have them on an old hanger and it really adds to your display. 
I've got hanging here a three-piece white linen doily set that has a crochet edge and that piece is going in for just four dollars for the set. And then I've got two pair of cotton lace as you can see. This is a, the pretty cot, white cotton lace panels. These are for your windows. You can see the sheerness there. They measure each panel measures 30 by 70 and they're going in the shop for seven dollars a pair I've got two pair of them and then also I'll be putting in another little ladder back slat seated ch child's chair there for twenty five dollars that chair I believe is from the 40s it has a very rustic primitive look and a nice addition to your primitives I, I sell Victorian pieces as well as primitives, 19th century and early 20th century, so a lot of the doilies and things are great accents for your Victorian decor. So that was what will be going in this week, September the 8th, 2015. If you have any questions, please message me below or leave a comment below. I would appreciate it and love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up and share it. And have a wonderful day and a very good fall as we approach fall for sh shopping and hunting for antiques. Have a great time and enjoy your fall. Thank you for watching.